I was a combat wounded veteran in Afghanistan and I had um, many of my colleagues and my soldiers and my battle buddies, uh, even my senior NCOs that we all faced uh, and continue to face post-traumatic stress. Uh, many of us were also diagnosed with uh, traumatic brain injury and with the effects of the battlefield around us and uh, those effects and those stresses are very real. PTSD and mental health, it's not a quick fix. It's not a broken arm that you can put a cast on. It's, it takes a long time to heal from the silent injuries. In the time period that you're in the, in the Army or Navy, Air Force, Marines, you're going to be touched by suicide at one point or another. We lost a soldier after our last deployment who never said a thing to any, not a soul in the unit. So all of us, under the assumption that he was just going about his regular clearing, getting ready to go to his next duty station, did not notice anything with him. His roommate didn't notice anything with him. And uh, he just took a walk on a railroad track one evening in Germany. But oftentimes, because of the emotional spirit that we build in these young men and women, they think it's a sign of weakness to say that they need help. And that's, nothing could be farther from the truth. We as human beings aren't meant to walk through life alone. Uh, we are created for a relationship and to exist in relationship. And uh, there can be a real go it alone kind of mentality. Um, like I ought to be able to do this on my own. I ought to be able to kind of get it together. And really the message that we're sending through Camaraderie Foundation and the support for counseling is the very opposite. No, you shouldn't be able to do it alone. That, that's not the way that we're wired as human beings. Before Michael even came home from Afghanistan, I knew that we were going to need to seek counseling help because he'd gone through so much. He lost several friends over in theater and just he witnessed a lot of his friends going through divorce and all the things that he went through. I mean, Michael was wounded his first month in Afghanistan. I just knew that we were going to need somebody to help us. Michael and I started Camaraderie Foundation because when he came home, most of his friends were bottling up their whole experience. They were not sharing it with their spouses. I think the challenge is, is getting over the stigma of asking for help and the stigma behind counseling support or spiritual support. The thing that's unique about the Camaraderie Foundation is that we're focused on the healing aspects and the transition aspects. There's always somebody there for you. You just gotta ask. But getting them to understand that's the hard part.